Today we will be looking into the shapes that exist in each dimension, explaining the, some of the basic characteristics which define each of those shapes to each particular dimension. To do this, we'll be using our 3D printer to create a simplex, a hypercube, and an orthoplex to give you a closer look at what this all means. We exist in three dimensions, with a fourth dimension being our temporal dimension. I'm going to explain what a cube and a tetrahedron would look like within each of these dimensions. In zero dimension, both shapes will look like a single point. In one dimension, we have a line, and that's just one dimension, so it makes sense. In two dimensions, we have now an X and a Y, and so we have a square and the triangle. In three dimensions, which is where we exist, uh, we have then the cube and the tetrahedron with the X, Y, and Z axis. In four dimensions, that's when we can see that a cube becomes a hypercube and the tetrahedron becomes the five cell or the simplex. All right, now we will go through a chart that explains which polytopes exist in which dimension. In zero dimensions, we only have a point, so we only have one. In one dimension, we have a line, one. In two dimensions, we have an infinite amount of polytopes. In three dimensions, we have the five platonic solids, which are the tetrahedron, the cube, the octahedron, the dodecahedron, and the icosahedron. In four dimensions, we add another 4D only, which is the icosatechoron, or the hyperdiamond. In five dimensions and up, we only have these three, which are the five cell, the hypercube, and the orthoplex. All right, right now we are printing the orthoplex, which is also known as the cross polytope. Okay, we're just scaling this to size so to match the size of the other, the simplex and the hypercube that we've already 3D printed. It's about 50 millimeters. I'm gonna generate some supports and then slice. These are the only three polyhedra that can exist within the fourth dimension all the way up to the infinite dimension. If you'd like us to design or print any other four dimensional or even higher dimensional shapes, please let us know down in the comment section. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.